Okay, so we have one um, spring simulation, which is for this character. Um, first of all, uh, let, let's see if we look at the spring intensities. So you see that, like, uh, there are different intensities for the head and so what I do I just uh, break the connection and make all the intensity on all the spring values to to one so we m want to make sure that they are all one And that one, which was the last one, oh, it's already, so so I put it to one. So we run the simulation, uh, we look at things. If things are not what we desire for, you still have chance to adjust the, the stiffness. For example, look, I, I make the stiffness of the, of the tail a little bit more or, 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 or anything else. So when you run the simulation, also make sure that you your playback is on play every frame free. And so once you did that, then what you do is uh, you go to M gear, uh, you select your entire rig, you, oh, before doing that, so first of all, I, I always just click outside somewhere that nothing is selected, um, and then click here so we get a base layer animation. So all the animation uh, lives on this base layer animation. Uh, so now what we do is to um, so to select the, the 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 rig folder and go to the M gear rig beat and then bake spring notes. So we wait. So it bakes the simulation. So the um, the sign that it is properly baked is that you go back and turn them off. Each one of them. And this one. And, but you still see the simulation and it's scrubbable. Like I can go back, I can go front and the simulation doesn't break, right? So now it's time to do adjustments. So let's say you see something problematic here. Let, let's say here the tail goes into the body, right? So you can select the parts that are creating the issue. Let's say I select these parts. I go to the select hierarchy, so I select all of them, not not just the root one. So select all of them one by one until the end. I create a animation layer with them selected. You have to click on this one. So and then call it like a fix tail. Like you know, you have to. You can name. So this layer only have this one that I just selected. So um, like what you do like once once everything is okay, you add a keyframe like by pressing S. And then when things go wrong, like here, you do a fix as you do. Oh, let's say here the fix is, oh, that's too much. Okay, let's do it one by one maybe this one comes a little bit higher and I add a keyframe I press S so you see that it keeps it up and here like once you are happy you just copy this you remember this was for the time that everything was was fine actually I should select the hierarchy first again because it was a bunch of different things. 
I copy the keyframe from them and then paste it back where everything is going to be all right again. So I usually like add keyframes before and after and then in the middle you can like you can do whatever you want. So you see like here I suddenly I just do something crazy just just to show to show you that things are working differently. Uh, you know, I just do something crazy. But you see that like it just from all right goes to that keyframe and then comes back. So this is how we do the adjustments on top of a big layer.